Oh, wait, what's this? What are they calling back? Oh, wait. Hello? Who's this? I mean, somebody called my number earlier, so I was just returning. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> Uh, so this is Ethan Ralph. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Well, I think I, I was just going over the story on air, so I think I probably know what it's in regards to. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so, all right, this number was attached to something on... Farms? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was. Um, there's a mod named Autistic, right? We were actually just going through the through the story, and I was mentioning um, how well that guy. I know the guy because he has my number. He's also posts on there all the time, but he has my phone number and my address posted on his forum signature. So I was mentioning that um, actually, and then when we got to the end of the story. Um, it showed where it had the phone connected, but it blocked out the number. And I was like, well, that might actually be my number. And then I saw you called earlier and you said media requests. And normally I would just think that was some troll, but I, I figured maybe it was an actual legitimate media request. So, sure. Okay. Yeah. Ethan, can you tell me, uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out a way to, to best identify you. Uh, you're on, um, okay. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure it's you. You know what I mean? Um, well, I mean, I'm live on air right now on cozy.tv slash Ethan Ralph. Yeah. I literally just called you during the middle of me going over this story. Because then I thought, because I, I just now realized that you were like a legitimate journalist. I thought it was just somebody trolling me earlier. No, no worries. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So you're on Cozy. So can I ask you that? So then, then, then who do you think is behind this and, and why do you think this occurred? I mean, I really don't know, to be honest, but. Kiwi Farms, you know, like has a stalking operation against me twenty four seven. So that's that's the only reason I know who the autistic right person is because that's a mod on the board that's like dedicated to stalking my life. So that's the only reason I know that guy, and he has my name or he has my address and my number on there. I don't really know who did it. I mean, I would, you know, who knows if that was really him that did it? Probably not. It was probably somebody stirring up stuff, but. Um, Kiwi Farms definitely encourages that type of stuff daily. So, okay, and and why are you? Sorry for maybe I already went over this, but why are you uh, kind of a victim of their harassment? Um, well, I mean, I'm just kind of like I don't know. I mean, me and their owner have a long-standing feud, so he dedicated a board. Um, we say that again. Me and who? Me and the owner of their site have a feud, so he dedicated a board basically to. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want to use the term harassment. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, I, I would say, uh, yeah, I mean, it is definitely harassment. So, Okay, and so the owner of this site, and you are at odds over what exactly? Um, well, I mean, he's a faggot and I'm not. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what I would say. But uh, may, I don't know if you can print that, but... Um, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Do we really, you want to go over the whole entire like history of it or? <laughs> uh, well, he used to come on my show back in the day. We had a, we had a falling out. Um, as a result of that falling out, he eventually put up, you know, me as one of his targets on his site. Now he has several other people that, you know, have boards dedicated to them or whatever. Um, it's kind of their stock and trade to find people to just fuck with. Right. So, um, basically that's what happened to me. So now he has a board, he has a board dedicated to me and that autistic right is a mod on there. So that's the only reason that's the only reason I'm that I know who that guy is. Cause he's kind of psychotically dedicated to fucking with me. And so when I saw him mentioned in this report, I was like, oh, okay, I guess that was a legit call from you. So okay. that's why I called you. But. I understand. I appreciate that, Mr. Robinson. Let, let, me, let me get to this, though. Uh, so, so then what, what's your current relationship with uh, the gentleman who claims that, or, or the person that claimed to be behind this account, the autistic 
I don't have any. I've never. I don't have any relationship with them. They're a mod on the on the board that's like talking about me daily. You know what I mean? And making up shit and okay. trying to encourage. I've been swatted myself several times. You know, um, actually in a very similar manner where they use the um, the text to speech. So that's happened to me. I don't know three or four times this year. So, and this has happened to other people, uh, other streamers, like with the text to speech voice. I mean, it's kind of insane. Honestly, another big part of the story should be how the fuck are they even doing this to a sitting member of Congress? Like, I mean, it's kind of insane that the swatting thing is like happening like that, but, Uh, so, but no, I don't have any, I don't have any relationship. He has, he's a mod on the board. There was an address that was put onto the site. Is that? Is that is a, a, yeah, that's where I live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now that's part of. Now see, it's part of his. That's his signature on the site. The moderator on the site. His everyday signature is just my phone number and my address. Like that's what he does. Like that's just his normal. Do you have a contact for him? No, I don't talk to him. I'm saying he he's on the site. It's a gossip site. It's a slander site about me. Like I don't fucking talk to him. No, I have no idea. It could be you for all I know. Like I don't know who it is at all. You're right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a big mystery, I guess. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and then this number that, that I'm calling you on now is associated with the number that he sends off on, correct? I mean, this is my personal phone number. This guy is a guy who stalks me and harasses me daily. As his forum signature, he has my fucking personal phone number on there. That's how you have it. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, cool. I, I'm just making sure all those documents. Right, okay. I'm just making sure, yeah. That's my number. He does that to fuck with me. Like, that's the reason you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure I do my homework. No, okay, yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, I just want to make sure, yeah, like, this, the reason you have it is because he does that to fuck with me, so that's how we're talking in the first place, yeah. Well, the, re- the reason I have it is because I, I, I ran through Kiwi Farms. Yeah. Right, that's right, yeah, exactly, it's on Kiwi Farms. And I thought, and yeah. I, mean, I, was, I was under the impression, I was under the impression that this wasn't, that this was, you know, potentially his number or potentially someone else's No, nah, no, nah, this is... This is his. It's it's on Kiwi Farms in multiple places, but I'm saying every time he posts on Kiwi Farms, it posts my address and my phone number as part of his forum signature. So when they say link to his account, it's because his forum signature on the board is my phone number, is my address. You know what I mean? Like that's why it's linked. So got it. Yeah. Good deal. Well, that's uh. <laughs> well it's uh yeah i mean that's that's how it's out there i honestly didn't even figure it out that um like this was a legit inquiry and all that until we started going through it on air so okay and then um do you have any message for the people that are kind of pestering you or you know <laughs> i mean not really they're never gonna stop i mean there's no point like it doesn't matter it's just people like, I mean, I hope they shut Kiwi Farms down. Fuck Kiwi Farms. That would be my message if you could print that. Um, but, like, I mean, I, I don't. I don't. Are these, are these, these Kiwi Farms that are doing this to you are fellow kind of. I mean, they're aligned with you ideologically, right? I mean. No, I wouldn't say that at all. Uh, no, I mean, there are some. There are some, but there's a lot of left. There's a lot of left wing people actually on Kiwi Farms. I would say it kind of encompasses more of just like you know more of the whole poli- whole yeah right. Like it's not. I mean, it's it covers both spectrums, right? Like it has left and right people on there. I was just talking about this on air. I think it actually hurts right wing people more though because it's just used as a tool more effectively against them. But <clears throat> I would say they go after you know they have both sides so. Okay, good deal. Well, I will, uh, do you have a text on this phone, too? I'm just going to text you one other question to make sure I don't dox you on air. Um, does that work with you, sir? Yeah, you can text me. Perfect. Awesome. Really appreciate your time, and uh, best of luck to you. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> now, I normally don't. I told you guys I don't talk to journalists my last couple of years, but very often. But since that was on air, I was like, all right, whatever. I'll just talk to him on air. I don't think he was completely understanding too. That was also like, 
pissing me off. It's like, do you even know what we're talking about here? Or it's like, that's the number. He posts my number on there daily. Davidson, $3. Good evening, Ralph Morning. What is happening? Just joined. I know who that guy is. That's Patrizo for the Daily Beast. And I've seen him at a number of these events that I've been at. So we will see what he prints. I mean, it was right there on air. So I'm not, uh, normally I would have not continued with the call, but yeah, that's who that is. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.